And it is certainly a closely watched case right now. The prosecution and defense deliver opening statements in the federal bribery and corruption trial of Philadelphia Union leader John Doherty and council member Bobby Heenan. CBS 3's Joe Holden is live at the federal courthouse in Center City with today's developments in court. Joe. Natasha, good evening to you. A federal prosecutor basically painted the picture, alleging that John Doherty was a powerful union boss who exerted influence and muscle over city council member Bobby Heenan to carry out political battles and also vendettas. The defense attorneys said that's nonsense. Tuesday morning, John Doherty headed into federal court all business. I have to talk business. I got I to get in and. Let the, let the courtroom roll. Opening statements from federal prosecutors seized on his long standing relationship with city councilman Bobby Heenan. Doherty, a titan in organized labor, and Heenan, labor's main ally on city council, according to his lawyer, are on the hook for potential jail time if convicted. Assistant U.S. Attorney B. Witzleben told the jury in her hour long opening this is a case about corruption, bribes disguised as salary and benefits. Laid out for the jury, nine alleged schemes prosecutors contend showed the scope of power within Local 98, where it's claimed Doherty paid Heenan a $70,000 annual salary from Local 98 in exchange for Heenan's official action. Like the time, prosecutors claim Heenan and Doherty were pushing for Philadelphia's controversial soda tax, which in 2015 was opposed by the Teamsters and Carpenters in advertisements. The prosecutor said, quote, Bobby Heenan texted John Doherty and he saw the soda tax ad and he was going to F the Teamsters and the Carpenters big time. Prosecutors said they intercepted hundreds of phone calls and texts between union officials Heenan, Doherty and the mayor. It's alleged Doherty threw his weight around and used Heenan to grow his power. Hank Hochheimer, who represents Doherty, said he was motivated to fight for the little guy, the worker. He argued there was no bribe, telling the jury he is bombastic, cocky, profane. There is no off switch to this guy. He grew Local 98 into a powerhouse. Well, Hank Hochheimer, who represents John Doherty, and Brian McMonagle, who represents Bobby Heenan, both say there was never a bribe in this case. Johnny Doherty, leaving the courthouse here more than an hour ago, said he felt good and that he says you're hearing the story up unfold in courthouse, in courtroom, make that 12B. This trial, again, expected to last. More than a month. We're live in Old City. This is Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Joe, thank you.